If so, how is your critique and judging style on AGT compared to American Idol and X Factor? That's a very good question. I think over the years, you know, um, you get to know people better, mm -hmm. right? And so maybe we don't have so many terrible people. Um, some things just changed. Uh, so you just have to adapt to that, you know? I think the important thing is you've got to be honest, you know? If I'm being honest, yeah. <laughs> and it, you know what? It's just an opinion. That's all it is. Other people have different opinions. Who do you think has to worry the most today after tonight's performances? Well, I would say uh, the people who are probably going to struggle tonight, maybe the comedian, uh, maybe the Deadly Games, perhaps the Argentinian dancers. Um, I'm not to say they weren't good, because they were good. I just think other people were more memorable. When you're watching the packages before the contestants perform, do you find yourself emotionally judging the packages as well as the performances? That's a good question, 100%. Definitely with musicality tonight, you know, when you saw that package, it's just said so much about them. Edgar, the same thing, funny enough. I thought, you know, they were very honest in what they said. And that's the whole idea about the packages, you get to know the people better. So, yeah, I do. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what kind of advice would you give the contestants that are going into the finale? I think you have to believe that you can win. You know, there's anyone who goes into a final just going, it's all about airtime, you lose. You lose long term. The people who've got that killer instinct are the people who win in the real world. So would you say there's a difference then between arrogance and confidence? Not much. <laughs> um, look, the truth is, all the best singers in the world, they do have that kind of overconfidence, perhaps arrogance, but that's what makes them stars. What advice would you give to somebody on just for America's Got I would say do something better than what we've seen before. You know, you never want to go backwards in life. And do something different. Who do you think hit it out of the park tonight? Sorry? Who do you think hit it out of the park tonight? Top three acts. The top three is easy. It's John, Laura, Grace. Yeah, Grace, 12 years old. Her voice is incredible. Do you think she could be a big pop singer right now? Yeah, I do. Somebody used the word last night, which is development, you know, which is that you can't do everything straight away after doing well on one of these shows. You've got to give people a chance to develop into an artist. And I have a feeling that she's smart enough to do that. You know, she knows who she is. Very honest in terms of her songwriting. So cute, too. Cute, yeah. Um, but doesn't feel manufactured. She's a very authentic, genuine. So do you think she can win it? Got a shot. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.